training video has been produced to help you understand the development, operation and advantages of power flushing central heating systems. Firstly, we'll look at the Fernox Power Flow Flushing Unit, detailing the specification and safety information. Secondly, we will look at the power flushing process. And finally, we will outline a checking procedure to demonstrate an effective system clean. So, where has the concept of power flushing come from? 1992 saw the introduction of BS 7593, a code of practice for the treatment of water in domestic hot water and central heating systems. Then, in October 1999, the Benchmark Initiative was launched to establish a code of practice for the installation, commissioning and servicing of domestic central heating systems. The guidance is therefore clear. All new systems should be pre-commissioned cleansed to remove installation debris and existing systems should be cleaned to remove accumulated sludge and limescale deposits to restore heat transfer and system efficiency. It's not only external influences that have affected the industry's view on system maintenance, but also changes to the systems themselves. Continual advances in boiler, pump and control valve technology have increased the efficiency of central heating systems. However, this also means that they are more susceptible to the negative effects of secondary corrosion damage and scale deposition. As a result, cold spots in radiators, boiler noise and the need for frequent venting of radiators are symptomatic problems of untreated and incorrectly cleaned heating systems. For your customer, power flushing means less inconvenience due to the reduced time spent on site, as only the one visit is required to complete the clean and perhaps more importantly, the results are immediate. Now, let's take some time to look at the Fernox Power Flow Unit itself. The Fernox Power Flow Flushing Unit is manufactured from high quality polypropylene and is powered by a 370 watt Grundfos pump made from 316 grade stainless steel. This means that the Fernox power flow is corrosion resistant and can be used with acid descalers. A circulation rate of up to 80 litres per minute ensures that all foulants are thoroughly dispersed so that even small bore and micro bore systems are flushed effectively. A dump rate up to 35 litres per minute enables the water in a typical 10 radiator system to be changed in less than five minutes, significantly reducing the time required on site. The power flow is rated to 85 degrees centigrade operating temperature, which when used to maximum effect with the addition of Fernox cleansers, means that the power flow can remove baked on corrosion and lime scale faster than any other machine. The reversible flow action helps to prevent debris impacting against valves and ensures increased efficiency when cleaning. An integral double-check valve on mains fill makes connection to the water supply easier and ensures the connection is in compliance with the water regulations by eliminating the risk of backflow. Finally, the Fernox power flow comes with all hoses pre-assembled ready for use and a one-year return to base warranty. <laughs>
Restorers are suited to both pre-commissioned cleaning new systems and the safe removal of sludge and scale from existing systems. Restorers can be added to the system up to one week prior to the flush. For heavily fouled systems, the use of a powerful cleaning agent such as Fernox Super Concentrate System Cleaner and Neutralizer is recommended. <laughs> Moving on to the actual flushing process, we first need to ensure that the system is correctly set up to use the power flow unit. First, turn off all electrical controls and electrically isolate the system. Ensure that all radiator wheel head and lock shield valves are fully open. Make a note of the position of lock shield valves, i.e. the number of turns to open, so that the system can be reset after cleaning. Check that all thermostatic radiator valve, TRV heads, are either set to maximum or removed, and that all zone valves and three port valves are locked open. Any anti-gravity valves should be bridged, bypassed or temporarily removed. Cap off, or temporarily join together, the cold feed supply and open vent of open vented systems. If the system is fitted with a primatic or similar single feed cylinder, this must be isolated during flushing. Thermal store cylinders must also be isolated prior to power flushing. Underfloor, solar and CHP systems can also be successfully flushed using the power flow unit. Once the system has been prepared for power flushing, you need to decide on the best position to locate and connect the Fernox power flow flushing unit to the system. This will vary depending on the system to be flushed and availability of suitable connecting points. Please use an RCD when connecting the pump to the electrical socket. The unit should be located within easy reach of a suitable foul drain or waste and near to a convenient mains cold water supply. The drain and discharge hoses and the mains fill hose are 8 metres long to facilitate the positioning of the unit. The drain and discharge hose should be arranged to ensure that there is a continuous fall along their length. It is possible to connect the Fernox Powerflow flushing unit to the system using one of the following options. Firstly, across the pump connections after removal of the domestic circulator using the adapters provided. Secondly, across the flow and return pipes at the boiler. This is particularly useful when replacing a boiler. Attach temporary earth bonds where required. Thirdly, across a radiator. Please note that this option should only be used if no alternative connection point is available. An alternative to these previous methods is to use the new Fernox pump flange connector, which allows direct connection onto the pump housing. This method is particularly suitable for combination and system boiler installations. Connect the mains water supply, overflow and dump discharge pipes, ensuring that all isolating valves are closed. To increase the effectiveness of the power flush, a Fernox Magnum can be used to remove magnetite, rust and magnetic particles from the system. As well as removing ferrous particles, the Magnum also offers a visible demonstration of debris removal to reinforce the benefits of power flushing to your customer. Connect the Magnum to the flow valve using the female camlock connectors. Attach the hose to the other end of the Magnum using the male camlock connector. The system setup is now complete. <laughs> Dynamic balance flushing is the prime means of sludge removal and maintains maximum flow through one specific part of the system, or one radiator, whilst bleeding off water 
and making up at the same rate. This is the most effective method for removing corrosion sludge after cleaning as it maintains a high circulation velocity to keep sludge in suspension. It is particularly effective on drop feed radiators and micro bore systems. So, how does the process work? Firstly, carry out an initial purge with the power flow unit to remove the system water. Refill with fresh water and begin dynamic balanced flushing. Shut off all except one of the radiators on the system. With the system filled and the power flow unit running, circulate and reverse flow direction every one to two minutes. Slightly open both the dump valve and the mains inlet valve. The dump must be discharged to foul drain. Gradually open the dump valve further, balancing the water lost by increasing the flow from the mains inlet. Aim for the maximum discharge rate that can be made up by the mains water supply available. Continue to circulate with the power flow throughout this process. The fill and dump rate may need to be rebalanced when the flow is reversed due to differences in system resistance in each direction of flow. Systems with a volume in excess of 200 litres, about 20 single panel radiators, will need to be divided into zones for cleaning. For example, clean the upstairs and downstairs sections separately. Monitor the discharge at the drain using the Fernox TDS meter and continue flushing until the water runs clean and the TDS meter reading is within plus or minus 10% of the mains water. Differences above 10% mean that significant dissolved solids have been left in the system. When the discharge is clean, turn off the radiator that has just been cleaned and open up one more. Repeat the dynamic flushing processes for all radiators. At each stage, check with the Fernox TDS meter that the water is completely clean and make a note on the Fernox power flushing monitoring pad. <laughs>